Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today is an exciting day. We are heading to Japan. So we are right now at the uh, Pearson International Airport in Canada, Toronto, and uh, we're heading first to LAX and then we're gonna switch over and then go to uh, Tokyo. So we are going to let you know when we arrive and introduce you to the things we're going to need to get to our hotel and where we're staying. And I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as we will. So come along. at Narita Airport, we're on our way to get the essential items like our SIM card. So we just went to the tourism information desk and they have directed us to this area here that has a variety of options to purchase a SIM card. So let's go and see what our options are. So we just selected our SIM card from this lovely man here who helps us out with uh, the plans that they have to offer. So thank you once again for your You're help. Welcome. <laughs> and now we're on our way to get a Suica card. So now we're at the lower level of Narita Airport after you go through customs. And there are two things that we're going to do here. We're going to be purchasing our JR Pass. We're hoping to get a Suica card, but if not, I believe there's another card that we can use. So we can show you what that is. As well, we're going to be booking our Skyliner uh, train ticket so that we can get to the hotel. All right, come on along. It was very simple. The staff at the counter were very friendly and they gave us a variety of options. So we gave a 500 yen deposit, which when you come back, you can um, return the cards and you get that back. You can load the cards at convenience stores or at the train station. So there's many options for you to travel throughout Tokyo. All right, so now we're gonna go over and get our Skyliner tickets. purchased our tickets for the Skyliner here at the Information uh, Center. The staff were very friendly, they helped us, we showed them where we wanted to go and we bought a one-way ticket um, to the Hori Station which will take us to the JR line that will take us directly into the area where we're staying. So the cost for the two tickets to go into the Hori Station was around 5,100 yen. So that's for one direction, but you can also purchase a two-way if wanted. All right, so let's go. So we have our Skyliner tickets here. Uh, as you can see, it shows here that we are at gate three. So you have to walk down where it shows gate three here and we are seat 2A and 2B. So when you have to be uh, exact on your timing because it is reserved seating 
there, there was one Skyliner train that had just gone by, but we booked the one for 7.20 p.m. here. And when it arrives, it says to wait a bit because it's going to get cleaned out and then passengers can board. So if you're ever going to want to use this, just make note of uh, some of these important points. It will help you in the future as well. Again, it costs us about 5,100 yen. So Canadian is about $51, uh, give or take. So it, as you can see, the station is very nice, super, super clean. And uh, there are English translations so that you won't be confused and it will help you navigate your way around. So we are now on the Skyliner and we're just going to be riding it for about four stops until we get to Nipori station. Then we're going to get off and then we're going to transfer over to the Yamanote line using our Suica card. Ride that for about five or so stops until we hit the Atsuka station and get off and then head to our APA hotel. So that's exciting. So we have reached here to APA Hotel. It's at the Otsuka station by the uh, Yamanote line. It's a very nice hotel so far. We'll show you the inside. Okay, so we reached to our room. I will take you through the extensive tour of our room that we booked. And this is all it is. <laughs> Pretty small. So you have a desk, chair, and writing. I'm gonna turn on the AC, it's a little hot. It's uh, right across from the washer and dryer room. There's the television and the washroom. So it is pretty small, but well, we got a not bad price. So that is our video for our introduction to our first day in Japan. We showed you how to get a Suica card, how to get uh, to a place where if you need to use a Skyliner, uh, where to get it, how to get a SIM card, what the prices are for those as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of videos on the different uh, smaller cities like Shibuya, Shinjuku and uh, Odaiba and so forth. So remember to click that bell notification icon so you're always up to date on our newest videos. Uh, remember to hit that like button as well. That really helps our channel to grow. And remember to subscribe. So until our next video, take care. See you soon.